But here we see that his return gives us hope. Now, how many of you have ever made a purchase online? Any online purchasers out there? I mean, isn't it fantastic? You don't have to get a parking spot. You don't have to look around for that. You don't have to rub elbows with rude people. And, you know, we went out shopping yesterday, and we went to this one place, and the people were so rude that worked there. It was crazy. We're just, my wife and her, her sister were standing around, and they accused them of wanting to steal something from the store. And it's like, are you kidding? We're just standing there. So there's some rude people that are at stores. And online, hey, guess what? You get to avoid all that. Now, I like to purchase things online. Some of my favorite things to purchase are books. But then, you know, you go through this online experience and you, you click what you want. You're like, yes, I get to buy this. You add it to your cart. Then you hit checkout. And then if you're like me, you check the shipping. Like, hey, I wonder if I could afford the next day's shipping so I can get it as soon as possible. Then you click on that and it's like, oh my gosh, that's $4,000. Okay, I'm not going to pay for that. I'll just get the standard shipping. And so then what happens is as you're waiting for, you know, in my case, if I'm buying shoes and I'm waiting for shoes to come, then every day it's like, I wonder if my shoes came today. And so throughout the day I'm like doing work and then it's like, I wonder if my shoes came today. Then I get excited because I'm going to go home and I'm going to check the mailbox and maybe my shoes will be there. And I go there and I, oh man, my shoes aren't here. Then I go to the next day and I go throughout my day and I'm like, oh, my shoes, they might come in today. And I get excited. And then I go home and I check it and it's not there. And it's like, okay, it's got to be tomorrow. It's got to be tomorrow. And so we do that until finally we get to the mailbox. And there when we open it up, the glory of heaven shines up. And our box, the angels rejoice. Oh, and we open it up and there are our shoes. We're like, yes, it's come. And then you like take them out and you look at it. You're like, those are some, those are some hot shoes right there. Those are, look at that. Then you tell everybody about it, like, hey, come check out my shoes. You like my shoes? Look at these shoes. Hey, I got shoes today. They came in the mail today. And so you're excited about it for a moment. But then after a while, those shoes just get thrown into a closet. They get dirty. They get messy. Then you don't even care anymore. Then you're on to the next thing. And see, what I'm trying to get at is that we can have hope for a pair of shoes. But how much hope can we have when we're looking forward to the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You see, our hope should be on the fact that one day Jesus will return. Forget the shoes, forget the drugs, forget the alcohol, forget the addictions. Focus on Jesus Christ and his return. And that's going to give you true hope in this life so that no matter what happens to you, you know, hey, look, no matter if this is bad or this is a struggle or this is hard, I know one day Jesus will return and rescue me.